Instagram has been at the front foot for many online businesses over the past decade, where brands are paying unlimited amounts just to claim a bit of the spotlight from their favorite influencers. Back in 2022, I had a go at growing an Instagram theme page, and on some posts I managed to get a couple views, but this time I wanted to take all my experience in growing pages on social media into elevating my personal brand onto Instagram. Now I've been an Instagram user, probably like the rest of you for the past couple years, but only really for the interest of friends and family. But a couple months ago, I came across a video by Dane McBride where he showed how he made over $20,000 through one live call to his following on Instagram where he's organically grown it to over 100,000 followers. And after looking through his Instagram and going down the rabbit hole of the motivational quotes niche on Instagram, where they all seem to be gaining loads of followers through this, I thought if all these creators can do it, then why not me? So with this goal in mind, how was I going to build a following and how was I going to monetize it? After doing a little bit of research, a very common way that these now influencers started off is by doing a challenge, especially within the motivational and fitness niche, a challenge such as 75 Hard or Project 50. In my case, at the time I was following Eman Ghazi's Monk Mode protocol, so I decided to vlog parts of my day to day during the process of the 21 days that I was doing it and then making a video every single day. Now during this time, I didn't post at all, but at the end of my first cycle, I'd created 21 pieces of short form content. Originally, I tested these out on TikTok and despite getting good and engagement on them, the vast majority of them didn't get that many views. And for the time I was spending to make these, there's very little reward for the amount of effort. For each video that I made, I was consistently increasing the quality and testing out new ideas. But after posting all 21 videos on TikTok, and after the majority of them not doing that well, I decided to post one of them on Instagram. Now, like I said earlier, I have a personal Instagram for pictures for social use, not with the intent of business at all. And most of these pictures range between one and 200 likes, with a reach only limited to my following. That follows being just under 1k and as of late as you're probably aware the way of which instagram accounts have organically grown by getting on the explore page through reels from my experience on the last page a mixture of reels and pictures end up doing the best but obviously the algorithm is changing all the time and as it stands for me reels end up getting the larger reach i was unsure about the reaction to posting a reel on this account especially after them not doing that great on tiktok and more so because if this flops everyone that knows me personally from my following would probably judge me for it it's one of those where you just have to not care what anyone thinks of it and so i posted it anyway and so considering the history of the likes on this account the first reel that i posted on here which probably got about 30 likes on tiktok managed to get the most amount of likes that my instagram account has ever seen and the reactions i got from it were pretty good and some even reached out to me i guess to show their support and so from this first reel the posting cycle had begun after this i aim to be as consistent as possible with my uploads can't really say the same for this channel Bruh. but i am trying my best meanwhile come off. yeah they've come up half they're gone but now I can permanently do this. <laughs> but my target for uploading was at least five pieces of content every single week. Now, as I continued to post more reels, they weren't getting loads of views in comparison to other creators within the same space posting pretty similar videos. But one thing's for sure is that the engagement on them was again pretty good, basically meaning that they were reaching the target audience. And one of my first reels got over 16,000 views, which in the grand scheme of things isn't that much. But with my account with under a thousand followers, I'll happily take it. It was the first time seeing a post of mine getting shared across a couple stories, and inevitably because of this, bumped up the following a bit. While creating and uploading these, I decided to use this time to test out new concepts, some with trending audios, lifestyle vlogs, and try and post with no overlay captions, just to really try and find what posts get the best interaction, all with the same intent in building a strong and like-minded community. I feel like such a but let's rewind a minute. What about monetizing this community? What actually is the business behind this new following? Well, one common misconception that everyone has is that you need a lot of followers in order to make a lot of money. Where this may apply is that the larger creators are predominantly more likely to get the larger payouts from the bigger brands. But one thing I've come to learn from building my personal brand is that audience interaction is way more important than audience size. So if you have a product or service that you have made tailored to your audience, you don't actually need a lot of dedicated followers in order to make enough money to go full time with it. For example, if you've got a following of 10k followers, if you can sell a $50 product to 2% of that audience, in this case just those 200 people out of 10,000, you're taking in 10k in revenue. And so with this Instagram account, I'm not going to tell you just yet what I'm planning to sell, but I will be incorporating it across all of my personal socials. But for now, my primary focus is just to grow the following and bring in an extra source of traffic to this YouTube channel, which for the most part, slowly working. And with all that being said, I'm recording this as the start of 
July 2023. And this Instagram account is currently sitting just over 1,400 followers. It's not a large account by any means, but so far from posting these reels, it's grown by over 25% of the original following just within the previous month. And in comparison to the creators with the larger followings, I'm still yet to post anywhere near as much as they have. So how I see it, the following is pretty much relative to the amount of posts. You can never expect quick results. So like I said, my aim is to build an engaging audience rather than just a large one. Hence why I'm not taking the same approach as I did with the theme page I had on Instagram where I did the follow for follow method until I had at least 3,000 followers. But I have faith in that if I just remain consistent with time, I believe that this account has the potential to grow, enhance my personal brand and get me ever so closer to transition going full time with content creation.